This I am with a lot of the Ooh. Now this is a stadium. Now this is a stadium. This is what I've been waiting on toting him. 60,000? Eh, that's kind of high. But this is a stadium. It's a sexy stadium. That's sexy, bro. Like he just said. Rule up there on the roof. What did he say? What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco off the phone coming at you with another reaction video. We got Premier League 2021, 22, 20, 20, 2021, 2022 stadiums. And a lot of y'all been asking me to react to the stadiums. And I'm telling y'all now, the reason why I held the stadium video off like, like a little bit longer, because I'm not going to be impressed. You know what I'm saying? Being an NFL fan, college football fan, we, we, we got some stadiums. You know what I'm saying? Cowboy Stadium, the new Atlanta Falcon Stadium, the new Charger Stadium, the new the new Raiders Stadium in Las Vegas. We got the stadiums. Texas A&M, we've been college. We got the stadiums in college, too. Bro, we loaded on stadiums, so it's going to be hard to impress me, man. I really don't think I'm going to be impressed in this video, man. Y'all got the atmosphere and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But 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 I don't, I don't think y'all got it in stadiums. Y'all got to show me, man. Hey, let's see what goes down. I don't think I'm going to be impressed, but The League needs no introduction. Anyway, let's get into the stadiums. We start off with Emirates Stadium, home to Arsenal. See you. It's one of only a handful of Premier League stadiums built this millennium, and the design certainly reflects that. It's reminiscent of the Stadio de Luz in Lisbon. After all, it that was look kind of the firm. The interior is almost identical. It's made up of four tiers of bowl seating with the top tier undulating. That will look kind of loud. Kinda cool. Although I don't often talk about atmosphere, the Emirates is often called the library by away fans. Damn! Sorry. Damn! Which tells you everything you need to know. He said that hole was called the library. But it's certainly a great He said that hole was called the library. You should. That's tough. He was shushing my ass. That was shushing my ass. Villa, that's ugly. That's an ugly ass stadium. That's an ugly ass stadium, bro. I'd swear that Villa Park was the name of a housing estate. But no, it's definitely a stadium. That's ugly. It has more of a traditional design than the last one. That's traditional? Four individual stands that have slowly conjoined over time. And some of those stands, particularly this one, have a beautiful brick facade. On the inside, the seats are done up in the club's colours of claret and sky blue. After all, they were the first to wear it, and it has since become a very popular choice for other clubs. Brighton. The Amex, home to Brighton and Hove Albion. It was built a little way out of the centre of Brighton and Hove, in a village called Farmer. How many people can it hold? The stadium features a very distinct. It's not a big club, though. Because our stadium's holding about 100k. Cowboy Stadium can hold 100k plus. You know what I'm saying? The normal slope is the way down behind each goal. This is partially due to the disparity in size between the different stands. Yeah, and lopsided. Good as well. That lopsided ass stadium. It's also quite visually striking. It just looks very spick and span. I mean, it's unique. It's I'll give you that. It's creative, I'll give you that. Burnley. Home to Burnley. It is arguably the most simple of the Premier League stadiums. That don't look simple to me. That's a good thing. If it ain't broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. I think that's a Bob the Builder quote. Oh, oh that's so ugly bro. to me, bro. It's I ain't gonna lie to you. Completely separate stands. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. No frills, but it gets the job done. One thing I really like about it this is look that like a high school basketball. The West, uh, this look like a high school baseball stadium, the bro. The South being considerably smaller, it offers those sitting higher up in the other stands a pretty decent view of the surrounding hills and Burnley itself, which I believe they call the Venice of the North. These some high school size stadiums, especially in Texas. I forgot to bring up Texas football, bro. Texas high school football stadium. We got we got some big ones. We got some big ones. Chelsea. Now this is a big Central club. Bridge, how how many Chelsea. people can they hold? Oh, forty-one thousand. The so-called big six club stadiums. Eh. Central yeah, Bridge is the smallest. Eh. It is, oh, it's the smallest. Okay. Biggest okay. stadium in Fulham, rather than Fulham's. 
Chelsea in Fulham? Premier League Stadium. I did not know that. In those 140 odd years, it has hosted basically every sport under the sun, even greyhound racing. On that note, that's a sport. Why is it always greyhounds? I love to see a pug race. Pugs are so ugly, Chelsea bro. have well and truly made the stadium their own since the days of the greyhounds, particularly on the inside where it's very Chelsea. Yeah, not too shabby. They do have a rather spectacular upgrade plan. Now that looks that won't be for a little while. Now that looks good. When they upgrade to this, then I get them their swag punch when they upgrade to this. Uh, I wouldn't say it looked good, but it looks creative. I like the way that looked though. That look intimidating. Crystal South Palace. Park, home to Crystal Palace. Man, if your name Crystal Palace, you gotta make that be a little like a palace. Aren't one of the bigger clubs. Because the potential for a stadium for a club named Crystal Palace is immense. I just said that, man. Well, I'm telling you. The nearby area in which the club used to play is named Crystal Palace. After the incredible building that went by the same name. These are high school stadiums, bro. That was unbelievably built in 18. That's a stadium. That's the stadium. A budget stadium inspired by the Crystal Palace would be freaking incredible. Maybe one day. But for now, Selhurst Park. Crystal Palace, get y'all bread up, man. Get y'all bread up. I mean, two of the stands still have those obstructive support pillars holding up the roof. But I like that old fashioned charm. Yeah, boy, like that old school. Everton. 39,000. Everton. Eh, go ahead. Famously, yeah. this ground was built after Everton moved out of Banfield. And it has since hosted more top flight football than any other ground in the country. So that's good. But the move out of Banfield did spawn their arch enemies. <laughs> Liverpool. Goodison Park is a good looking ground and it's loved by many. Yeah, it's cool. However, it is aging. Look at that L. You see that L right there? Nah, it really... Hell yeah, that's an L. L for Liverpool, boy. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, <laughs> once again, there are those support pillars on some It look good from the inside, but yeah, them pillars are ugly. Is an ideal. Them pillars are so ugly. the grand old lady hasn't got too many years left. As Everton will be moving to what seems to be an absolute beauty of a That's a stadium. That's a stadium, and it got the water right there. I'm a soda. It got the water right there, the good scenery and stuff. That's a stadium right there, bro. Hopefully they take the atmosphere along with them. That's a stadium. Elland Road, Leeds, Leeds United. 37,000. It's not too dissimilar to the last one, from the bird's eye view at least. And it too has some outdated design elements, such as, yet again, pillars supporting the roof in some sections. But after consolidating their position in the Premier League, the plans to upgrade and expand the stadium to a capacity of around 55,000 okay. seem likely to go ahead. Interestingly, Allen's Road was originally known as the Old Peacock Ground. The old Peacock. Named after the adjacent pub. And I've got to say, they should have kept that name instead of naming it after a road. Ravy Station? The Old Peacock Ground. Ravy Stano? I like it. Leicester, that just looks like a stock. A stock? A stock? City. A stock it's uh, stadium, bro. It's just a rectangle. It's just a rectangle. And I'm glad to see that the wheels haven't fallen off since then. Given Leicester's relative success, their stadium remains quite humble. Yeah, that's a they humble ass stadium. Expansion. That's a good way to describe I don't think it. Any it's design humble. is set in stone, but it could end up looking like Cardiff City Stadium, which is no bad thing. But hopefully they go for something a bit different. Yeah. The stadium's current design is far from being something a bit different. Yeah, it's there basic. There are quite a few stadiums in England that look very similar. I can tell. In particular, one that's coming up later in the video. The inside look cool. The interior is just a simple single tier bowl, but it looks fine. Yeah, it looks cool. I like the inside. Liverpool. How many people can Anfield hold? 53,000? To Liverpool. The club eh, that was formed was saying. when Everton moved out. It was a prudent decision to name the club Liverpool. The stadium, I right, bro. There could be a small reason behind the club's popularity in Liverpool. It just casts a broader net than the name Everton. But winning helps with the popularity as well. Anfield has one of the best looking stands in the world. I am, of course, speaking of the main stand, particularly the exterior. It's modern. But that the side looks is good. Better. Brick. That side looks so good. It looks fairly traditional at the same time. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. On top of that, literally, the roof canopy is fairly unique. 
He kind of looks like the brim of a baseball cap or something. Low key. <laughs> the rest of the stadium oh. is a little more typical. But also oh. pretty darn good. I don't think I like the look of the inside of that, bro. Now, that's a good looking stadium. Man City, that's a good looking stadium. This is probably the first good looking stadium I've seen on here. I like this one. This one has a short history, but a unique history. Yeah, that's good looking. It was originally built for the 2002 Commonwealth Games, but it was always going to be converted into a football stadium afterwards and was designed as such. The stadium's most unique feature would have to be the cable supported roof canopy. That's held up by these masks that surround the stadium. Yeah, oil, them oil pumps. The kind of look like <laughs> giant harps. I wonder if you could play them. Look at ah, it. What do you know? It's a bit out of tune, but not bad. Hey, I like that stadium. This probably the, the best. The is made up of a double-tiered bowl structure. And it look good from the inside. A That's a good-looking stadium, bro. Four sides of the ground. Uh, not too far away. Man, it's United. To Manchester United. Uh, it kind of. Old Trafford. It's it, kind of set up like Liverpool Stadium with the left side being like taller. To the ground itself, it is true. It's quite old, and it's showing its age in some areas. But nevertheless, it's the biggest and arguably the most famous Premier League. Oh, it's stadium. the biggest. Hold on, let me see how many people are here. Name is Old Trafford. Seventy-four thousand. Okay, United. let's get up there. Seventy-four thousand. That's the biggest. Seventy-four thousand. The biggest in NFL, like above a hundred k. Like the area consists of a lot of brick and glass. <laughs> that looks good though. I like that. That low key kind of looks like Staples Center. Especially known for are those inclined roofs, which give the stadium a unique look on the outside. But on the inside, it sort of blacks out and blocks off the upper seats. Inside look good too. I like the inside too. Particularly on the Sir Alex Ferguson stand. And there's something about that that has to add to the intimidating atmosphere. The fear of the unknown, I guess. Feyenoord's De Kuyp has a similar situation. Kinda like it. Both Manchester stadiums look good, bro. Ooh, what stadium is this? St. James's Park. Newcastle. Ooh, Newcastle got a beefy ass stadium. Premier League team. For some reason, I really like the slightly unusual ace. Yeah, I do too. I like that. I like the Newcastle this Stadium. This was done because, as you can probably see, there's a shortage of available land on two sides of the stadium. So they simply didn't have room to expand further. Damn. The additional seats <laughs> had to be put on the other sides, causing this lopsided design that we have here. Yeah, it's a lot of lopsided ass stadiums over here in the football world, man. Other who do you, who that, these the design designs? isn't too unusual. Just like Crystal Palace, they could have really played off the team's name and made a new castle like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, do that, do like that. Like see on many college football stadiums. Kyle, like I say, college football, hey. But you know then, once the castle's been around a while... He probably talking about... Hold on, he probably talking about goddamn soccer. made a new castle-like exterior. Like what you see on many college football stadiums. But then... Oh, he talking about college European football. While, it becomes an old My bad. <laughs> Norwich, Norwich 27,000. After four big boys, yeah, that's road, ugly, bro. Back to something a little more modest. It's not like they can spend a load of money on a huge stadium, they're not rich, but they don't need a big stadium anyway. This one is perfectly fine. It's actually one of my favorite of the smaller stadiums, but I don't know why exactly. I was just about to say, why just those yellow and green seats. They really stand out when watching it on TV. Yeah, that's true. It was particularly noticeable in the last couple of seasons without any fans. <laughs> oh, oh, because of COVID. A Never mind. Not hidden somewhere in the stadium as well, which is kind of cool. But where is it? He said it's oh, a who? That's got to be it. Oh, hotel. There's live. Southampton. Stadium, Plain generic, South humble stadium. It's the red version of the King Power Stadium. Although I shouldn't say that, I should say the King Power is the blue version of St. Mary's. Because it actually did come first, by a grand total of one year. Uh, I don't know what else to say, it's just the same as <laughs> exactly. the cafe, really. It's, it's generic, bro. I guess there's probably some good fish and chips nearby. That water right next door is technically a river, but the sea is right over there. Uh, let's just move on. <laughs> this how I am with a lot of the Ooh. Now this is a stadium. 
Now this is a stadium. This is what I've been waiting on, Tottenham. 60,000? Eh, that's kind of high. But this is a stadium. Darn it. I forgot. For a couple of years, it was the newest Premier League stadium. This is... But as you'll see later on, another team has put an end to that. That's a stadium right there. It still there. has to be the flashiest stadium in the league. That's a stadium right there. In Europe. Although I don't think there is an official flashiness in there. That's a program. stadium. But just look mm. at that. I don't often say this about a stadium, but it's it's a sexy stadium. That's sexy, I mean, bro. Like he just said. Cock rule up there on the roof. What did he say? Stadium. I mean, look at that giant cock. <laughs> ah, that's funny. That's a nice little pun. Up there on the roof. That's a nice little a pun. Golden cock rule is a <laughs> cock the most rule. sought after stadium. <laughs> I've been calling it as the Tottenham Cox. <laughs> Tottenham Cox. Bro, Tottenham Stadium is beautiful, bro. The interior is definitely better than the exterior, though. Beautiful, man. Wrong, it looks great. But it also looks like... Yeah. Beautiful. Watford. Road, room to Watford. It's all right, man. On the surface, that Tottenham the Stadium doesn't look too far out of the ordinary. It's a fairly typical ground made up of four individual stands, with one stand that is particularly built up. But perhaps the most peculiar thing about this stadium is that one of the stands is named after Elton John. Sir Elton John, I should say. He is, of course, a Watford supporter, and formerly the major shareholder, president, and chairman. But forget about that. I've just learned that for a brief period in the early 90s, this place was home to Wellstone FC. Wasn't Elton John in the Beatles? Wasn't somebody in the Beatles named Elton John, bro? Forget about Elton John. His fame pales in comparison to the great man. <laughs> That's a goofy looking fella. West Ham, I like that. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that West Ham stadium. Yeah, but I like that though. I like that. West Ham have won up to Manchester City's Commonwealth Games Stadium and gone with the former Olympic Games Stadium. Oh, I knew. Bro, I knew I seen that stadium before. I was like, I was just going to say, ain't that the stadium that they had the Olympics at? That's kind of cheap. I like that, though. It's tough. Stadium. It's tough. It looks all right, to be fair, but I don't think the aesthetics are the main issue. Although, from an Olympics perspective, it followed from Beijing's Berner Stadium, which is a far more interesting design. True. They did that thing with that one. for London Stadium has probably to do with the fact that it's it's a bit soulless, and many of the seats are quite far from the action. Yeah, I could. I was just about and to say that. the fans weren't too pleased with the move to begin with, regardless of what the stadium was like. But relatively speaking, in the grand scheme of the entire world, they are far from the action. Stadium. Wolverhampton. I have seen 10 other teams with this exact goddamn sta sta same stadium in this video. Wonderful wording. The stadium's exterior is done up in a rather unusual color. Parts of it are like a yellowish cream with some of brown. I wasn't alive in the 70s, obviously. <laughs> it is some 70s like stuff. See a lot of these colors working in an office in the 70s. Manila folders, old-fashioned computing devices, yes. as well as that Ew. fake wooden furniture and brown clothing and ugh. Yeah, so ugh. I'm making it sound bad. That's but ugly, I bro. I quite like it. That's ugly. Not the 70s office, the, the exterior. It says it apart from the other stadiums. Not that it wasn't already a bit different. With Nobody the at them damn game. games. Another thing that sets it apart are the curved stands on the side of the pitch. Usually stadiums that are made up of four individual stands don't have that. It just allows for a better viewing angle for those sitting on the sides. Brentford, 17,000. That's the smallest stadium on here. It's a community stadium. This one definitely doesn't look vintage. Like I alluded to earlier, it's the newest stadium in the Premier League. Oh, it's new. Okay. The fortune of opening in the year 2020. This it place is, is absolutely stunning. Just look at the sharp angles of the roof canopy. It's all right, man. The first time I mentioned this stadium on the channel, 
I noted that it was squares between railway tracks on all sides. The distance between the tracks and the That's good on our side though. Yes. You might even say it's a beast. Wait, no, 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 you can't say that. What? Beast I like this screen, Cowboy Stadium. Why the hell not? Well, you've already made the joke about the cockerel. I let that one slide. <laughs> But you can't make two jokes about a gentleman's sausage in the same video. A gentleman's it's sausage. British law, isn't it? Yeah. It's British law, isn't it? <laughs> I just... I didn't know a bee's dick counted as a gentleman's sausage. Yeah, well, it's it's a bit ambiguous, but it's just not worth the risk, mate. Trust me. All right, fine. Well, anyway, it's a great stadium. One of my favorite small stadiums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it looks good for a small stadium. Beastie, 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 beastie. Oh, you are an absolute... This buddy, childish as hell. the 2021-22 <laughs> Premier League stadiums. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. All right, man, that's the end of the video. Like I say, the only stadium that actually looked good to me or surprised... Not surprised me, but that... The only stadium that I can compare to NFL stadium is the Tottenham Stadium. That's the only stadium on this list that I can compare to NFL stadiums. Like, like I say, Cowboys Stadium, Raiders Stadium, Chargers Stadium, any stadium really. But like, y'all lacking in the stadiums, man. I wasn't really impressed. Tottenham was the only one that impressed me with the. I ain't even to say, but hey, like, comment, subscribe, comment on that. Till next time, out.